Hey guys, that guy with the glasses here. We got some big, big announcements for you. Uh, first announcement is that there's another eBay auction. Yay! What am I selling? Gotta wait till the end of the video to find out. Ha! So you gotta hear the other announcements. Uh, the second thing is that uh, we are having a charity drive uh, December 5th at 7 p.m. Central Time. So, and it's gonna be live, everything's gonna be live. There's gonna be uh, new videos being posted. I'm gonna be there, uh, my, my brother will probably be there, and perhaps, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, a few guest stars? Maybe, you know, you gotta tune in to find out. So the charity is for the Ronald McDonald House Charity. It's a wonderful charity, you can look it up, see what they do there. It's for a really, really good cause. It starts at 7, and it's gonna go pretty much until we're, you know, until we stop making money. So as long as you keep contributing, as long as people out there keep donating, every cent is going to the Ron McDonald House Charities, we'll just keep going. So definitely tune in for that. Uh, what else? The store is not only open, some of you don't know that, but the store, the That Guy with the Glasses store is open. And we are shipping internationally now. We weren't doing that before, but now we are. We got t-shirts, we have downloads, uh, the MP3 of Holiday Clusterfuck is uh, on there now. So check that out. Everyone's been asking for an MP3 of Holiday Clusterfuck. It's on there. Go download it. Do whatever the hell you want with it. There is that. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, there is a, uh, there's been a lot of talk about whether or not we're going to do a DVD of like my stuff on there, like a DVD you can buy. And yes, we are working on that right now. Sadly, it's not going to make the Christmas rush, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, we're going to have it probably late January or early February. So might be a good Valentine's Day gift. Uh, there's going to be bum reviews, ask that guys, and even a few nostalgia critics. The ones we can sort of get away with, you know, in terms of the copyright stuff. So... Uh, and on top of that, there's also going to be new stuff. There's going to be new bum reviews, there's going to be new aesthetic guys, and yes, there's even going to be a new Nostalgia Critic. So keep an eye out for that. That's probably going to be uh, late January or early February, so keep an eye out for that. I think that's about it. Let's move on to the products. Okay, I'll start with the big stuff first, or right? this is probably the biggest stuff. Uh, this is actually the original bum hat. The very first one I used, I used it for... Uh, about half the episodes I've done so far. Uh, the reason I'm selling it is because I don't know how this happened. There's a black mark there. I don't know if you can see that. And it just looks bad. I mean, it's really distracting. So I got another hat. Uh, for I can't turn it around because the back is blue. And uh, that doesn't work. So, yeah. So that is going on sale now. The original, original bum hat. That is going on sale. And speaking of originals, we also have the original Nostalgia Critic tie. I've only gone through two ties so far. This was the very first one. Uh, this is the one I think was being really difficult at the Video Game Nerd uh, Final Battle uh, that I had trouble tying. And the reason I, I'm, I got a new one is uh, you can see it's really torn up and really, uh, you know, really sort of destroyed. So that is also for sale. The original tie at the very beginning, well, okay, the Harry Potter uh, event. That's when I first started wearing it. But yeah, this is the first original tie. And if you want it signed, all of this stuff, if you want it signed, uh, just let me know. I can even sign the bum hat somewhere. So there's that. This, I can probably sign it there or something. I don't know. So there's that. This is really cool. This is the... If I can get it out here. This is the Ghostbuster outfit that I wore to chase Casper around. And on top of that, I also have the Proton Pack. And the Proton Pack, this is just a Halloween costume I got, you know, around Halloween time. Just cheapo thing. But the actual blaster part, this thing, the original, looked really, really fucking lame. It was so stupid looking. So I actually had my dad, Mr. Fix-It, I call him for, like, everything, uh, to come up and make a new one for me. So I, I don't know what he used. I think it's, like, a table leg with something at the end. I don't know. And a little bit of the original thing there. And here's this... this cord that came unattached but so you'll get this and you'll also get the uh, uh the proton pack the one that you blow up it'll probably be deflated when you get it but uh but this will still be intact and again if you want me to sign it i can sign it even though i technically didn't make it fuck it i'm gonna get my dad to sign this as well okay if you want the ghostbuster outfit proton pack and the blaster with my signature and my dad's signature yeah he, he deserves credit god damn it he deserves credit for that, so 
So that's probably gonna be the only thing I'm ever gonna do that's gonna have my signature and his signature as well. So, definitely keep an eye out for that. Of course, the uh, video game confession drawings, everybody seems to love those. And again, there's two of these. There's the original drawing, and then the way I do it is that I scan this into the computer and print it out with the logo on top, and then I draw the little drawings around it, pretty much. So you get two of these uh, every single time. Um, so yeah, this one is of Chic. There is that. We have the one of Samus, right there. All of these, everything is starting at 10 bucks, by the way. I figure that's a good place to start. I'm sure they'll go up, but I figure that's a decent place to start. Uh, got Pac-Man here. We also got Laura Croft. Very cool. And that's it for the video game confession drawings. And we also have a script. This is the original script for the Alone in the Dark review. And I know it's like, well, what? I can print out like a million of those. Well, this is the original because you can see it has notes all around it. I don't know if you can see all that, but it has notes that I made all through it. And at the very end, it even has an alternate ending that I had in there, which actually, as you can see, is sort of crossed off because we decided not to go with it. But uh, if you want the original Alone in the Dark script that uh, I co-wrote with uh, Lewis and Noah, you can get that. And then the final thing, I think this is pretty cool, the final thing is a folder. Wow, that, that's not so hot, but what's inside? <gasps> We got all the sketches from all the sketches and drawings I've done before. Well, not all of them, but majority of them. And just to, you know, just to know what you're getting, I'm going to go through really quick what's in here. It's about 28 drawings. We have the Casper drawing. These are the animation drawings. We have the Dancing Dread from the Judge Dread review. We have the Iceman logo from the Cool as Ice review. We have uh, from the Orangios commercial, we got the animation uh, drawings for that. I think for the Willy Wonka Charlie uh, Old vs. New, I have the picture of my mom and dad uh, destroying me. That's always delightful. Oh, we have the animation for the, uh, the talking crap from the Garbage Pail Kids. There's that. Oh, the original Old vs. New drawing. That's on all the Old vs. New, the old man and the boy fighting each other. This is the Gargoyle drawing from the Gargoyles review of them taunting him. The rest of this, by the way, is just going to be me explaining what the drawings are. So if you want to go to our video or click on the link, that's fine. There's a link below saying where all the, uh, all the eBay auctions are found. This is the drawing for the Video Game Nerd Nostalgia Critic crossover review of the turtle. What I did, I just took one bow and I put it on the other side, so nothing much to it. You'll find all the little cheating effects I did for this. This is from the Rockadool review of God messing with the rooster there. I guess we have a barrel. Oh, this was for uh, Robotic Donkey Kong Jesus. We got the barrel that was being thrown, and then we have the body of uh, Donkey Kong Jesus there. So there's that. This, I believe, is from the Superman review, yeah, of Superman uh, kissing Lex Luthor. That's positively disgusting. Wait, oh, this... This would be cool. This is the Melvin brother of the Joker. The worst sketch I've ever done. Uh, th this is the, um, uh, the sheet for that, the title card. In fact, there's even the lines I wrote for my brother uh, for the mother to be yelling. All those, everyone thinking it wasn't scripted at all. There was a little bit of writing, so. From the serial, oh, here we go. These are the animations for the uh, serial countdown, the top 11 serial mascots. Here's the two chefs drowning. And here's the animations for the, uh, the Lucky Charms Leprechaun. From the Captain N review, here's the Mario animations, the Lord of the Rings satire. Here's the Emo Jones title card. I so don't remember what this is from. Uh, the Grinch Kills Horton. Apparently I used that in a review. I... Oh, the, uh, the Mindfuck moments. I remember I used it for that. Yeah, so that's from that. Oh, and here's from the uh, the animations I've done. This is this is from the Lost animation from that cartoon show. Again, this is also from Lost, the Lost sketch. You saw the Orange Joe's one before, and then this is from the uh, these are from the Kanye West uh, animation that I did. So that's it. So that's a lot of stuff for that one folder. That's a lot. And that's all the original stuff that I drew and I scanned it in. I 
color it in Photoshop and stuff. So those are the original animations and title cards and stuff like that. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. I think people are really going to like that. So, yeah, that's it. There should be a link below to uh, look at all these products. Remember the Charity Drive, December 5th at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, the store is now shipping internationally. There's t-shirts, there's downloads, the MP3 of Clusterfuck is on there. And there will also be a DVD coming hopefully in uh, January or if not uh, February. That's it. A lot of big announcements and enjoy them and I shall talk to you later.